everybody, this is Praxis, and we can finally start using the firewood shed for firewood. So uh, we've been uh, hauling stuff in, we did a bunch of it yesterday, River was helping. Uh, we, we actually worked ourselves pretty hard yesterday. River got a little nauseous with all the running back and forth, and I, um, I pulled some muscle between my uh, shoulder blades. I think part of that was because I, I've kind of stopped uh, working out for the the past couple weeks while I've been working on this because I've been focusing all my energy and time into getting that together uh, and because I wasn't doing the working out and the stretching I you know I pulled a muscle in between my shoulder blades. So we're taking it a little bit easy today but we still want to get some stuff done. Uh, River's ferrying stuff back and forth and I'm kind of pulling things out of this pile. Now all the the wood here is all stuff that had been piled up where the woodshed is now built so I had to kind of move it all up. Uh, some of it has been some of it's been actually chopped, and uh, some of it's been actually chopped and split. Here's one of those, River. Uh, and uh, there's some of that in there, uh, but a lot of it is just like, you know, logs and things. So I'm kind of breaking them up as I go. Um, one nice feature of, uh, let's see if I can get one here. Uh, here's one right here. One nice feature of white pine is that it's really, it's really brittle. Now white pine doesn't make the best firewood. Uh, it's gonna tend to leave a little bit more creosote in your chimney than other types of wood, but I, you know, we're using what we got and I'll just scrub it out if I've got a, um, but one nice thing about uh, white pine is that you don't have to uh, chainsaw all of it. Uh, I'm just going on the edge of this uh, little, um, you know, piece of trunk here and you can, you can snap it when it is, uh, when it's dry, let's see, yeah, when it's dry, you can do a lot of snapping and, can I do the entire thing? Yeah, it's, the sound of this makes me think, Okay, I'm not going to do it also because river's approaching. Uh, but you can do a lot of snapping now that I'm down to this. What I've got is I've got this log here, which I was using to bang on, and then this other one behind it, they're offset by a little bit, so I can take this and kind of put it between, and now it's up, and that's uh, acting as my stand. I'm using this little electric chainsaw to finish them up. There we go. So we're going through the pile. Obviously, river's moving it up in there, and just trying to get... Uh, well, ultimately, we've got to get all of this stuff up in there because uh, it's going to dry better in there, although it's pretty dry just having been under the tarp for the summer. This is pretty good stuff. Um, but also, uh, with plowing and everything, this is where I need to plow through and this is where we've got to get the cars into. So we just, not only do we want to get this stuff in there, we want to get it away from here. So that's what we're doing today. Back to snap. One tip if you're doing this, you maybe don't want to be that close to your vehicle. <laughs> Sometimes these things can pop and fly up pretty pretty far. Where's the other piece of that? Okay, yeah, a little long on that one. All right, so that's what we're up to today. Uh, the chainsaw I'm using, like I mentioned, it's an electric one. It's uh, DigiPro made by Greenworks. Um, this has worked out pretty well. The, um, the oil uh, feed, where it feeds oil to the bar here, it's been clogged up for a while. So what I've been just doing is I've got a little can somewhere over here. Just a little can of oil and... I'm just taking the, uh, the teeth of the, the saw, dipping them in a little bit, advancing it along and letting it kind of drip on there. Not as ideal as having it uh, automatically feed to the bar, but uh, you know, it works out pretty well. Again, was that one gonna? Yeah, that, that kind of that sound is making there, that little vibration noise. Oh, I was wrong. I was, saying, I was thinking that one was not gonna break, but it did. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching.